y'all and welcome to today's video. Look what just came in. I have the new sleepover collection from Unearthly Cosmetics. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this collection. I'm so excited about it. So we have a palette, a lip gloss, two blushes, a highlighter, and lashes. We are going to play with this whole collection. We're going to swatch it, test it out, see what we think about it. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new collections. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week. I mean, this is the seventh video I've uploaded this week and I still have one for tomorrow for y'all. So lots of content. If you are looking for fun makeup content, you got to subscribe because this is the place to be. I cannot wait to test this palette on my eyes. I want to show y'all close-ups. I mean, the artwork is gorgeous. I have all of my makeup done except for gloss, blush, highlight eyes. So let's jump into it. Let's kind of talk about this collection a bit. Let's start with blushes. Let's do blush first. Now I'm going to show you close-ups of the blushes, the highlighter, and the lip gloss. I'm very excited. These are my first time trying Alien or Unearthly Cosmetics blushes. I always mess up and say Alien because Unearthly used to be Alien Cosmetics and they are now Unearthly. But I threw up some swatches for y'all so you could see swatches of these products. And what I think we'll do is we'll do two different blushes. It's fine. I'm down with doing two different blushes so we can see what they look like. I've got Charmed right here, which is the more kind of lilac-y toned one I guess we'll call it and I'm gonna use my unearthly brush in a one so I'm gonna dip it in here I'm just gonna keep it to one side and we're whoa that's pigmented that's pigmented that is pretty wow okay I picked up way too much so in the next blush I'll just go in with kind of one tap I'm just going to <laughs> Blend that in because I did not expect it to be that pigmented. I don't know why I should have. I should have expected Unearthly to come with the pigment. But I'm going to pop that right over here. And then we're going to take the one that's a little more pinky. And this is called Cherub. So I'm going to flip the brush over to the other side. I'm picking up still a good bit of product but not quite as much. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Okay, so we have Cherub here, and then on this side, a little more glowy is Charmed. So Charmed is over here. Now what I'm going to do is pick up a little bit of Charmed since we tried both on, and I'm going to even it out, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of Cherub and put it over here. Since we put them both on the face, now I'm just going to kind of mix and blend them so they all go together. Okay, now that we are all blended in, I'm liking the way this is coming together. I want to use the highlight. This is called Bow and Arrow. This is a pinky highlight. Now, I do have a highlight from Alien Cosmetic. I have their highlight palette, the low light palette that I really, really enjoy. I also have a highlighter from their In the Dark collection that I love. So, I feel like I know kind of what to expect. They make really, really beautiful highlighters, and this one's looking beautiful. Whoops, I dropped the brush. That's okay. Beautiful. I'm going to highlight my nose because I just love it. All right. Super pretty. Oh, I really like this. And I don't know if I told y'all this is an A4 brush, so I'm going to use some of my unearthly brushes today. I, I pulled them out. I really like their brushes. But yeah, if you see the ones that are like black and green like this, they're unearthly. Okay, so in the swatches, you saw this gloss just on like bare skin on my arm with nothing underneath. But I really wanted to put it on top of a red lip. So the lipstick that I'm wearing today is Unearthly Minerva. 
If you watched my yearly favorites from 2021 where I talked about the best products of the year, I mentioned the Unearthly Liquid Lipsticks and Minerva is actually one of my favorite colors. So since I swatched this on like just on my arm with nothing underneath, I thought it would be fun to put it on top of this. So this is the Cupid Gloss. I really like how pointed the applicator is. I think that's really nice to let me get precise. Okay, so far I'm liking everything that we have put on. Now, before we do eyes, let me show you this palette. First of all, I love the packaging. I think this is so fun. You've got these three beautiful ladies on the front, sleepover themed, so cool. And this says it's an eyeshadow impressed pigment palette. Now, I'm going to show you a close-up of the inside of the palette before I touched it, and then I'm also going to insert swatches for y'all. This is a nine-pan palette, and what I really like about Unearthly is the palettes are all magnetic, so you can move them around if you want to. I like to keep my palettes together, but all of their newer palettes have pans like this. So if you're traveling or you just are somebody who gets inspired by creating creating like custom color stories, you can pop these pans out. You can mix and match them with your other unearthly palettes. You can move things around. I think that is a really cool concept and I'm really glad that they're sticking with this and letting all of their palettes be removable like that. I think that's super nice. But now that we've done everything else in this collection, now that you've seen a close-up, swatches, all of that, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot. I'm going to zoom you all in, and we are going to create, and I'm excited about it. All right, we are ready for shadow. I don't think I said at the beginning of this video, but Unearthly Cosmetics did send me this collection, and I do have an affiliate code with Unearthly. If you use code Heather at checkout, it will save you some money. I was just so excited. I completely forgot to tell y'all that at the beginning of the video, but after I try everything, I'll kind of give you my first impression thought, and I will let you know what I'm thinking. Right now, we're just going to test it, though, and... I want to, I mean, there's nine shades in here. I don't know that I can fit all nine shades on my eyes, but we're going to use as many as possible. And that's going to start with the shade Beloved. So I'm going to go into this shade first. This is an A6 brush. Now, I will say I have been a customer of Unearthly well before I was an affiliate with the brand. And I have lots of unearthly palettes that have been sent to me, some I bought myself, and I feel like I know the formula pretty well just because I have so many of their palettes. They're definitely one of my favorite indie brands. If you watched my palette ranking video that I posted last year, I posted a video ranking all of the palettes that I tried throughout the whole year. Unearthly palettes made it into my top five palettes of the year, which I test and try a lot of palettes, but I do feel like I know the formula pretty well. And so far, this shade is performing exactly like I expected to. Very pigmented, opaque, but blendable. I really like pink shadows for the eyes. I think they can be so pretty. But something I kind of like about this color story is, of course, we have the pinks. But I think also you could go neutral if you want to. You can just stick with this brown and maybe this shade right here just all over the lid. Kind of smudge this into the lash line and you're done if you want to. This on the inner corner. So you don't have to create a pink look with this. You can definitely go neutral. I like that about the color story. But... I wanted to play with the pinks today just because when I first look at this palette, that's what jumps out at me. But I, I like when palettes can go kind of neutral, easy, effortless, and when they can go fun, colorful. Okay, next I want to build these shadows up. So I'm going to go in with the shirt right here, shirt, <laughs> the shade, the shirt called Flirty. And I'm going to put this right on top of the light pink and I'm going to build this out. 
that's really pretty, really pigmented, and I'm just going to kind of swirl. This is another unearthly brush, did I say? This is the A5. So we're just going to work this right out here. Okay, now I'm grabbing this Melt Beetlejuice brush, and I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is called Sweetheart, and it's going to go right here on top of these other two mattes. And it's performing just like I expect unearthly mattes to perform. It layers well on top of other mattes. It blends really easily. I'm taking this down to the lower lash line as well and kind of out. I'm also going to take this shade and just buff it right here. Just a little tiny bit under this lower lash line and up and out like this. Okay, now I'm grabbing this Beetlejuice brush from Melt, and I'm going into a Sleepover, the shade that has the same name as the palette. And this is a dark shade. I want to put this right at the lower lash line, just buffing it in. I didn't pick up a ton on my brush, just a little bit. And I'm just going to wiggle that back and forth right into this lash line. When... I am doing the description box. It'll already be done for y'all. I'm going to tag um, Unearthly down there so that you can check out because the owner of Unearthly actually has a YouTube channel where she will show like the products and things coming out, performance. So y'all definitely need to check that out if y'all are like me and you want to see stuff ASAP. But I am going to go in with the shade Stay in, I'm going to find a fluffy brush. Okay, one thing about me <laughs> is I like to use kind of dense fluffy brushes for shimmer, metallics, things like that. It will cause excess fallout, so either do your eyes first or like me, I powder before I do my makeup, like I have powder under my eyes. It will cause fallout. It's not the shadow, it's the brush. You see how like fluffy this is? This is a 206 from BK Beauty. And I am going to spray my brush with a little like uh, setting spray, makeup mist, whatever you have is just fine. It literally doesn't matter. Whatever's closest to me is what I'll use and that will help minimize fallout too. Okay, this palette does have a mirror. You'll probably see me using it, but I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. And this shade is looking so pretty. So I'm like pressing it on first and then I'm going to go through and like diffuse. That's beautiful. I feel like, I keep I always say, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I wish I wouldn't do that. But I see that it is pulling more purple against these pinks, which is what I want because I want the color. But if you put down that matte brown right here if you put down that in the crease and then put this shade next to it I think it will pull a little more neutral which can be nice that's going to give you some options look at that shade oh, that's pretty I love it y'all I just I love makeup so much like it genuinely makes me so happy this is just so fun oh I love this shade so much I want to take a bath in it okay I have this kind of coming together how I want it but I want to just go in a little bit I want to go in with the lightest shade right here I want to pick that up and I want to go in with oh laughter right there oh that's so beautiful Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Okay, let me go back. Where's my brush? Let me go back with the shade, with the brush that I used for Sweetheart. And I'm going to go in just a little bit to Cuddles. And I want to kind of put it right there. You're not going to see it, the shade, a ton. But if you see, it just added a little bit of depth. Like a little bit more depth right here. And I was actually just messaging with my friend Karen Harris. I'm also going to link to her channel down in the description box because... I know she got this collection today too and she's going to post a video so y'all if you're looking for some more like look inspiration I'm going to I'm going to link her channel down there so that y'all can see too what she creates. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. How many shades do we use? Wait a minute. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of the nine shades we use. But I'm gonna put on some lashes, Unearthly launched lashes. And I knew they were sending me these, but I want to try these. And if I like their lashes, I think I'm going to order all of them because they had some really cool styles. And these look like the style that I love, where they're like short in here and long out here. So I'm going to put on some liner, put on some mascara. I'm going to put on these lashes. These are in the style Immortal. And I will be back. Oh, have I had lipstick on tape the whole time? The whole time and nobody told me. The whole time I had lipstick on my teeth. Fabulous. Okay, I'm going to finish up the look and be back. Okay, y'all, this is my finished look. <sighs> Let me just tell you. I just sent Unearthly a message. I was like, why are these lashes so easy to put on? They're so comfy. These lashes, oh, like they were so easy to put on. They feel comfortable, like I don't really feel them sitting on top. You know, sometimes lashes are so heavy. These feel so nice. Okay, let's kind of talk through these products. I don't think I show y'all. Look at these, look at look at the boxes that the cheap products come in. Oh my gosh. Do y'all do you see these cute girls? Like this, this is so adorable. So all the cheap products came in their own little box with the with the cuties on them. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I love the artwork of this. So let's talk about the blushes. Love, 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 love. Oh, it makes me so excited knowing that they're gonna launch more powder blushes. I think these are really cool and I like these colors. I don't have a ton of blushes or highlights in these really light pinky shades. So I really like it. I think these are super cool. I'm really happy to have these in my collection. Definitely gonna keep using these. The lip gloss, I didn't show you the box too. How cute. She's Cupid. She's Cupid and it's adorable. Really like the gloss. Again, I've already tried the highlight and the lip gloss formula from Unearthly, so I kind of already knew what to expect. So I really like these shades and it's that great quality. Eyeshadow palette. This is my first time using it, but it is the same quality that I know and love from Unearthly. So I'm very excited to have this color story. I kind of already told y'all before, but I really like how you can go light and bright pink with this. You have this beautiful pink, this beautiful pink down here. You can go more deep and sultry with these shades. You can go a more neutral route with these. I think this is a well thought out color story. Very fun, very beautiful. I'm into it. I'm ready to create some more looks with it. Like I definitely want to play with this palette some more, but I love my look. I really love my look. I love the way it looks with the red lip, but I think it would also be cute with like a dark purple lip. That could be really cute. I'm feeling myself. Can you tell? Like I keep looking down at myself in the mirror instead of looking at y'all because I'm like, ooh, hey pink eyeshadow, hey. <laughs> I'm just having fun looking at the makeup. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm going to get this video up for y'all. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts. I will say, I just saw that Unearthly posted a restock. Let's see. Sleepover pre-order opening March 14th at 12 p.m. EST. So I will link to it down below. So that is a pre-order with an estimated ship date of 4-4. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you, that you enjoyed this video. I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a super awesome day. Like I said, I will have a new video up for y'all tomorrow. I did have, uh, this is the seventh video this week. So if you missed out, there's six videos I posted this week. This video and one to come tomorrow. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.